Right now at 5, Milwaukee police accused of violating Sterling Brown's civil rights. An officer gloated about the arrest on Facebook. If there's really discipline going on, how can you gloat about this? Now, all this stems from Brown's arrest back in January for what started out as a parking uh, uh, issue on the south side. It ended with Brown taken to the ground, tased, and then put in handcuffs. Body cam video shows he never appeared to threaten police. The lawsuit alleges wrongful arrest and the use of excessive force. It claims officers violated Brown's civil rights. It also claims Brown was targeted because he's black. The federal lawsuit also reveals new and troubling claims against one officer in particular, Pete Cervakis continues our coverage. The complaint references several Facebook posts that Brown's attorney described as gloating. The 40-page federal complaint includes a picture of this Facebook post from Officer Eric Andrade. Nice meeting Sterling Brown of the Milwaukee Bucks at work this morning. In the complaint, Brown's lawyer alleges Andrade took to Facebook to mock and laugh at Mr. Brown and publicly engage with others regarding Mr. Brown's arrest. A post to Andrade from a friend reads, I need your autograph. I spotted you arresting an NBA player. Body camera video shows officers tackling and tasing Brown back in January. According to Brown's lawyer, Andrade's social media activity shows the discipline handed out following the arrest was not sufficient. If there's really discipline going on, how can you gloat about this? The federal suit calls out Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales, saying his investigation and disciplinary actions were not complete and incompetent. Alderman Mark Borkowski thinks improvements are needed at MPD. They have a hard job to do. They have a very difficult job to do, okay? But we also have to respect people. But he stands by the chief and notes Morales was not leading the department at the time of Brown's arrest. Should Ed Flynn have been named in this lawsuit? You know, I'm not going to throw the guy under the bus, but you know, the past regime over the last 10 years he was the police chief. Now that the suit has been filed, Thompson hopes the defendants acknowledge the violations alleged and the two sides can come to a settlement. Pete, thanks. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett is out of town. He did issue a statement on the lawsuit saying, quote, I'm hopeful this incident will be a turning point and allow us to take those actions necessary to improve police community relations and the developments continue with new video of the Sterling Brown arrest to show you it shows one of the eight officers who responded to that Walgreens parking lot briefly draw his gun out of the holster uh, as he was questioning Brown the fact that someone would pull their gun for a traffic ticket should trouble all of us and it should trouble every every parent of every child and obviously every parent of an African-American young man. There was reaction from the Milwaukee Bucks today as they saw this development. The team's general manager had this to say to reporters. Listen. We're completely 100% behind Sterling. I think what happened to him was um, obviously unacceptable and shows us how far we have to go, but beyond proud of Sterling and the way that he's handled all this. Now for the latest developments in the Sterling Brown lawsuit, you can more than welcome to go to our website, tmj4.com. We also posted the lawsuit there. You can read it for yourself.